Yeah, I got to bring that up to you. As I have been DJing, this is my second semester, and I've always felt that doom metal is the genre of metal that keeps so true to the original form of Sabbath, but it's just never been given the, the true recognition that it deserves. It is honestly great music, and especially, I mean, I look at you guys and your stuff, and it's it's influenced so many bands. I mean, Hank 3 did a whole doom metal album, if you remember, Attention Deficit Domination. Exactly, and, exactly. And, and I heard actually, that record pre-released before it came out, yep. You sang, yeah, he actually uh, came on, or you came on and sang a couple tracks with him, and it just goes, look how many people are influenced by this music, you know? Yeah, I know. He's even got the earth ride, like, sewn into his uh, jacket there. That one jacket that he wears every night. He's got, like, Jessica White on the back. Oh, yeah, he's got... <laughs> it says Jessica White, and then I think it says Pentagram up top of that. Then he's got the earth ride sewn into the side, and he's got an I Hate God patch, and... You know, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, he's just so down to earth kind of guy. Well, I, and, uh, yeah, I interviewed him on this show, and he did say that Earthride had some of the best recordings, and for, for he told my fans to check it out, some of the best recorded music. So he's into it. He's a large fan, and and, and God bless him, man. He knows where where the good stuff is. Yeah, he does. You know, <laughs> I mean, he he's a smart gentleman. I must say that, and a, just a genius. If you ask me, you know, as far as like musically, uh, I think working with him. And when I sang, uh, me and T. Roy, we sang on his record on Ghost to Ghost and stuff, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, and, you are uh, credited. I, I had no clue, DJ Rob, that 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 Tom Waits was ever going to be on that song. <laughs> <laughs> That must have been a shock. You were I, it was, it was so, when he showed me the record, and I heard that thing the first time, I was like, no way. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean it was just so, so from one genre to the other, you know? I mean, it's just like, so like he's like a country guy. I'm like a doom guy, and... Like Tom Waits is like a, not a, I wouldn't say a folk guy. Maybe uh, I wouldn't know how to describe him really. Uh, he he sings to the poor junkie man though. <laughs> you know Tom Waits' style is for those people. You know. Hey, so. you know it's it's all making music together, collaborating. You know, you look at what uh, Scotty Wino does a thing now. I saw him in Monterey. Actually, okay. live. He played, uh, do you know Connie Ox or Connie Oaks? I don't know if I'm pronouncing yeah, it right. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, he just played around here the other day. Unfortunately, I couldn't go, but I, but I had some friends that went, and they said it was awesome, and it, they're really tight and cool. It is, actually. So, for Wino, and they they work great together. So, like I said, it, it all works together. And look, you've worked with Wino, you've done, and everyone in the Doom community, they work together. And, you know, that's the cool thing is it's not like the hair metal where – one guy gets pissed off at one guy and he goes starts another band and now you got two LA guns, you know, gosh, it's everybody uh, right. works with everybody. Exactly, man, exactly. I'm, well, we kind of had a little, you know, thing with the Earth Ride and, 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 um, and Spirit Caravan, you know, but I think just the turmoil between the band and just the way Spirit Caravan was going as far as just the attitudes and stuff, it just, you know, it, it just didn't, didn't, didn't you work know. out, you know. So we just had a coll collision right there, and then Wano went and formed the Hidden Hand, you know, and yeah. uh, which was which was cool, but I think it was it was meek compared to Spirit Caravan. And we just had so much, I don't know, me, Gary, and Scott, you know, we just had so much. Um, I don't know. We just looked up to Scott uh, Wano for a long time. We know the way he is and what his music represents and the way he has been through the years, you know, from the time of being in the Obsessed to the first joining St. Vitus on Born Too Late, yeah. you know, back in whatever, 80s, 86. whatever it was. 86, 86, yes. Yes, exactly, man. Thank you for correcting me. Uh, or telling me. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's it's it, it's been a long ride for him. And, and he's finally just getting his just dues now, and and and, and, and God bless him for that. Yeah, <laughs> you know because uh, uh, yeah. um, yeah, because like um, and God bless him for that because um, yeah, you, you, uh, you look at I look he at he deserves it, man. He's been doing it for uh, some by I don't know thirty or forty years. Yeah, now. it's 
Oh yeah, it's been a long time. Five well, years, you know. I mean, I it's weird as I look up the music right, and I see all the different bands he's played with, all the different recordings, and then just Spirit Caravan alone. I mean, what was that? You guys had the compilation, uh, Last Embrace, was that it? The Last Embrace. Embrace, yeah, yeah, yeah Last Embrace. Music. Sorry about that, yeah. I'm messing up on that. But that had a lot of great music on it. It had so much material, you know, and it just again, it's one of those things that. Thank God for maybe college radio because I'm playing that stuff still because I still think that is so relevant in the world of metal. Metallica's new album, yeah, that's relevant, but so is, you know, Spirit Caravan. That compilation has so much great music, you know what I mean? Oh, yes. I mean, um, I mean, our first, you know, Tom Clutch took us out the first time. And, uh, I mean, I, I wish in some, you know, fashion, I know that St. Vitus is getting ready to tour with Weed Eater and Sire Vane, but, yeah. I mean, if I uh, wish one day that uh, you know we could find a time and and I'd be totally willing to um, and hopefully let bygones be bygones and go out there and play some of them songs again. I or think the first lo- record because Jug Full of Sun was never released on vinyl, which oh, is a crucial a, oh, thing nowadays. Cool. You know, so it's the collector that, value. And for the fans, that'd be just awesome for all the metal fans out there too. You know, that'd just be a great exactly to see or the Wino fans in general, or the Earth Ride fan. You know, Earth whatever. Fans, you know, yeah. I mean, it would just be something that to you know because they never saw it because the project was only six years old. You know, we were Shine, and then unfortunately the name, uh, I think somebody else was called Shine, and there was some legal thing, and Ian Mackay, oh. uh, he actually said we should try to change our name so we don't have no so we wouldn't have any difficulties in the future and uh so we did that then we changed our name to spirit caravan yeah. but um like phil and selmo every time i see him <laughs> and he's always like shine <laughs> that's, that's awesome <laughs> uh, hey, we know. play with super joy and uh i hate god in new orleans in like 96 wow yeah that was a killer show and uh and uh, the next night it was like a Jimmy Bauer Palooza. It was like uh, I Hate God and uh, Super Joint, and I think Down played a couple songs. Wow, and, he uh, was working hard. Clear Light, <laughs> Clear Light, the Mystic Crew of Clear Light, and uh, Floodgate and Trouble played from Chicago. Oh, wow, oh, that's they're, a... they're definitely relevant in the oh, game. Trouble, <laughs> Trouble, Witchfinder General, all those guys are just exactly, wow, brother. <laughs> exactly, Speaking again, my language, exactly. uh, and um. That one song, uh, uh, Pagan Altar, that Shelton covers. Oh, covers. yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's a good, he, I, I actually checked it out recently. That was a really, he does a good job with the guitar intro there, too. Absolutely, man, he gets that stuff down. I mean, he's out there, man, he's, uh, one time we played around here at 930 Club, um, and uh, uh, unfortunately, Earthrod guys couldn't do it at the time, blah, blah, blah this and that and the other thing yeah. i won't go into that but um he said hey man just come on out to the show and um uh uh i learned your tunes earth ride songs <laughs> so hell so i went up there and he, he knew like three of them and we did three earth ride and we did a couple pentagram songs and stuff and uh it, it was cool man and he wore this Mask. It's on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Oh you yeah, the, the it. like goat devil mask. Yeah, that mask, that goat mask. That's a real goat skull, though, in that thing. That is. A, that's. And, and, and he's like, I'm gonna wear this, man. When we play the songs, and I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be an interesting to walk. You even to put him. it on when we did the sound check too. So yeah. <laughs> For real. <Damn. laughs> yeah, That's he, metal. That is metal. That is extremely metal. Shelton is like, man, he's just extreme. That is extreme. Um, man, he's so cool, man. I mean, he's just like the heaviest dude, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and his, his country, his metal, his doom, even. I mean, he just goes every which way, and he does good at all of them. Yeah, hey, Dave, I got to bring up here your last album, Something Wicked. When, you know, it comes to vocals, people have always said, you know, you have that lemmy ass style. And I got to say, that was a great album, man. That was a great album. It just, again, damn, I'm pissed off that radio in general, and I say, you know, college radio, I'm keeping it alive because, again, that album was phenomenal. It's just a phenomenal album, man. How, you know, 
what's it like, you know, when people do say though sometimes that you have that Lemmy ass style when you sing? Is that like a compliment? You know, were you influenced by Motorhead kind of? Oh, oh, definitely. Mostly like Sabbath and Motorhead. Like you had a baby with uh, with Earthride, but um, when I was in Wretched, I sang a little cleaner, but um, but uh, but my voice changed and more smoking and partying and stuff. So I went for the more raspier, you know, Lemmy-ish uh, thing going on there. It's, and, it's uh, history. Yeah, he's he's definitely, you know, an icon to me and every rock and roller that's ever played uh, a distorted guitar or bass in their life is probably, <laughs> can, you know, uh, go by that. You know, he's like the guy that just won't stop. <laughs> you know, you can't, it's hard to stop him. That's true. <laughs> I mean, like people say, when when the world's end, there'll be roaches and lemmy. <laughs> that is the true statement, man. And Dave, before uh, we're going to wrap it up here, I got to though ask: Is there any new Earthride music coming our way? I know you're reissuing the EP, but is there any new recordings that you're working on right now, music? Um, with Earthride, no. I'm sorry to say, right now uh, we, we we just had a major thing go on Kyle broke his hands oh. and uh, uh, the, the guitar player and we couldn't play shod last weekend so um, so we got to take a little uh, hiatus from everything for right now till his hand heals and then um, we'll see what's gonna happen after that because um they just there's a lot of turmoil going on I'll say that but okay, well, hopefully... I, got, I got some other things in the works and, okay. uh, and, and, I, and I'm going to still be going, you know, uh, I'm not going to quit in any kind of way and, uh, you'll be hearing from me and hopefully uh, in some form of me <laughs> will be coming to, out your way so I can, you know, spread the love. Yeah. You know, we want our, the fans out here, trust me, there are doom metal fans, even though the West I, Coast I, is considered the thrashy, more, you know, mountain yeah, metal Yeah, and, and I'm really, really excited that, you know, which is, to me, really cool, is like the Pentagram is going right now, you know, they're going to play a show with Down, and St. Vitus is going to play on that in New York. and It's just going the, strong. The whole, you know, and Philip knows about it, and, you know, the Doom and Pepper and... You know, all those guys, you know, they're just totally into it, you know. And okay. uh, and hopefully this, uh, the doom will rise up and, you know, and uh, hopefully, you know, it, it'll go somewhere a little bit better, you know, and maybe That's get a little true. bit more airplay here airplay. and there. Well, I'm playing it here. And to all my fans, Dave Sherman, also all my fans are saying this, thank you for calling in today to discuss all things doom metal, man. Thank you. Thank you, DJ Rob, man. And y'all have a great night and a great time thanks man rock on dude rock on all right brother man do more brother i'll talk to you soon okay later thank you thank you bye